Welcome once again and today we are doing a chemistry particle and I will be posting more videos on chemistry particle, physics and biology particle more often so if this is the first time on this channel kindly uh, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified anytime time a new video is posted so we are looking at this question over here where it said we should study the diagram below so the figure shows a sample experiment carried out by students in a laboratory they study the figure carefully and answer the questions that follow so we have to study this um, diagram here and answer the questions that follow now in just a summary of the diagram over here now we have a retort stand here which is being held by a uh, a test tube over here and we apply it to the test tube. The test tube is also made up of a wet sample of calcium carbonate and it has a rubber cork covered in it with a um, connected by a delivery tube from this tube, uh, test tube to another test tube containing an idos copper sulfate and there's another um, delivery tube also connected from the and test tube contain the anhydrous copper sulfate so another test tube containing lime water and another one which is going out so basically that's the summary of the diagram so we study this diagram answer the questions that follow now the first question says we should name the parts labeled i i i i i i and iv so if you look at um the i over here i represents a retort stand so let's um right here so we have um i over here so we have i here i i here i i i and i v so if you look at everything i here represents um i here is a retort stand so we have a retort stand i i is just the test tube over here and if you say the test tube is containing calcium carbonate so it can not just be any kind of test tube but it's simply a hard glass hard glass test tube hard glass test tube hard glass test tube yeah hard glass test tube and i i here is uh, the rubber cork so we have um, a rubber cork the rubber cork or sometimes called the cock stopper or we have the rubber it's sometimes called the rubber bank rubber bank yeah so look at i i v over here i v is as um, the delivery tube so we have i v being the delivery we have i v to be the delivery tube over here so that's just for the I and let's move to I I so we have I I now I I says what will happen to the sample of the wet calcium carbonate when it is strongly heated so we, we apply a strong heat to the uh, the wet calcium carbonate over here what will happen so basically what will happen is that the calcium carbonate will break down when it breaks down it forms calcium oxide and carbon dioxide and at the end what i will be giving off so the first thing is that the calcium the calcium carbonate so we have the calcium carbonate break to break down then it will also form or give out or give off it will give off calcium sorry calcium oxide it will give off calcium oxide so it will give off calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so we have carbon dioxide and at the end water will be given off so water is giving off so basically this this is what will happen when um the calcium carbonate here is eaten strongly and the test question says we should write a balance equation for the reaction that took place in ii so this was the reaction that took place in ii so we say the calcium carbonate will break down when it breaks down it form or it gives off calcium oxide and carbon dioxide and at the end what i will be giving so we have to write a balance equation just to represent what will happen here so we have ii here so we are writing a balance equation 
So we are saying calcium carbonate. So we have C O C O three. So we have calcium carbonate, which is a solid. So when it breaks down, it will break down and form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So basically calcium oxide and the carbon dioxide and water also be given off. So basically that will so we have present what will happen here in the balance equation if you look at the equation over here it's balanced so let's move on to the next question we have um, said at the end of the expansion what happens to the anhydrous copper sulfate so IV IV says that the anhydrous the anhydrous copper sulfate so we are to Explain what will happen to the anhydrous copper sulfate when, um, at the end of the experiment, what will happen to the copper anhydrous copper. So, basically, as we said in II, the what will happen when the white calcium strongly heated. We said water will be given off. So, when water is given off in this um, section over here, the water, then, the water in the test tube, which is given off over here, will then evaporate. So, the first thing is that. The water giving off water water giving off will evaporate so it will evaporate so the water will evaporate and condense and then and it will turn the white color so it will turn the white color the white color so it will turn the white color of the anhydrous copper sulfate to blue so it will turn the white color of the anhydrous copper sulfate to blue so basically at the end of the experiment the anhydrous copper sulfate when it gets into contact with the water which is being given off it will turn it will evaporate and condense and turn the, uh, the white color of the anhydrous copper sulfate to blue and um, we can simply write a, an equation just to represent what uh, we said over here so we have the copper sulfate so we have c c uso4 plus uh, water so water is liquid you know and it goes off I've said give us this equation over here so let's use um, the five parts of water five moles of water so copper surface we are acting with five moles of water to give us copper surface and the five moles of water over here so this is a balance equation just to represent uh, what will happen at the end of the experiment now the second question is what will happen at the end of the experiment what happens to the lime water so for the lime water, as we said, for the anhydrous copper sulfate, where water is given off at the uh, calcium carbonate part, it will evaporate and condense, and it will turn when it is mixed with the uh, with the anhydrous copper sulfate, it will turn it to a blue color, and basically, at the end, that's what is going to happen. But for the lime water, so for the lime water, we have the lime water. For the lime water, so it turns milky. So the lime water here turns milky. The lime water here will turn milky. So that will, will happen at the end of the experiment. Now the question is, why will it turn milky? It will turn milky due to the presence of the carbon dioxide. Due to the presence of the carbon dioxide over here. So because we have the carbon dioxide in the um, in the calcium carbonate, the lime water at the end of the experiment will turn milky. Now the last question says, name one other substance that can be used instead of the anhydrous copper sulfate. So what other substance can we use instead of the anhydrous copper sulfate? So we can um, we can use the anhydrous cobalt to chloride chloride crystals. So we can also use the anhydrous copper two chloride instead of the anhydrous copper sulfate, and um, we can represent it in a balance equation where we can have the copper chloride here, 
in the form of a solid plus uh, water which is given as a copper chloride here with water so basically this is what we have and we can have six moles of the water over here so we have the uh, copper chloride which is blue in color then we can have um, our water which is um, so we can have our water and when they mix together it gives us a pink color so instead of we using the anodous copper sulfate we can also use the uh, anodous cobalt 2 chloride crystal so, um, so basically that's what we have for the uh, these questions and i'll be posting more uh, questions and videos on the um, chemistry particle physics particle biology particles and any other particle so um this, if this is your first time turn on the the, the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that anytime we post a video you'll be notified so thank you very much for joining me in this section and we'll meet for um, another section yeah. thank you very much